we'll start to settle into your seat and feeling the sitting bones dropping and spreading down into the earth. Feel a sense of rootedness, a sense of solidity, a sense of connection with that root support. And allow the spine to rise up vibrantly from the center of that support, letting the lower back spread, letting the rib cage lift, letting the heart float gently, the collarbones roll back, the shoulders drop. And then hold a little bit of tone in the vocal cords so that you make an aspirant sound with the breath. And feel the vibration of the inhale sliding across the soft palate as an invitation to let the soft palate widen and release. So you feel the jaw become soft. You feel the, the tension drain from behind the eyes. You feel it melting above the soft palate and then sliding down the palate into the space of the throat and melting into the emptiness of the body. And then draw that thread of breath a little further from across the soft palate and through the space of the throat so that the throat opens. You release any unnecessary tension there. Any unnecessary tension around the base of the neck. So that there's a sense of softness across the collar. Softness between the shoulder blades. And then drawing a little further now from across the soft palate and through the throat down into the infinite expanse of the heart. So you feel the space inside the rib cage as being continuous with the space outside the body. And as that thread of breath slides across the soft palate and through the throat and touches the center of the heart, you feel it light up with a silver light that radiates in every direction, reaching out through that infinite expanse of space. And with the next round of breath across the soft palate and through the throat, through that white expanse of the heart, and then crossing the threshold of the diaphragm, feeling the whole dome of the diaphragm spreading from the bottom edges of the rib cage. And lifting up to just underneath the heart. And you feel the solar plexus nestled in the back at the bottom edge of the diaphragm. You let the breath touch that radiant warmth that emanates from the solar plexus. It's a sort of glowing, fiery light. And with the next breath, you slide across the soft palate through the space of the throat, through the white open expanse of the heart across the threshold of the diaphragm to that reddish, orange, glowing, radiant solar pattern of the solar plexus into the dark, watery, 
ocean of the belly. Feeling down into the dark roots of the navel. And letting the breath rise from there all the way back up along the same path. And touching every point in between. And going a little deeper with the next breath across the soft palate through the throat, through the heart, across the threshold of the diaphragm, through the solar plexus, through the dark watery ocean of the belly into the wide open space of the pelvic bowl. Underneath the pot of the belly, you feel that sense of spaciousness there. A lighter, clearer water, perhaps. And then as you exhale, you let the breath go all the way back up along that same path. And then with the next breath going all the way down this time from the soft palate through the throat, through the heart, across the diaphragm, the solar plexus, through the belly, into the pelvic basin, and all the way down to the center of the pelvic floor, where you touch the perineal body you feel the pubic bone and the coccyx want to draw toward each other as you touch that spot at the very top of the inhale. And then as you exhale, you pull up and back on the top of the pelvic floor and you feed that current of sensation up through the hollow core of the spine and continuing upward along the same path all the way back to the soft palate which stays widened and released. few more full deep rounds of breath tracing that continuous line from the soft palate to the pelvic floor and touching every point in between. Deep rhythmic ujjayi breathing. Bring a little bit more tone in the vocal cords to create a deeper aspirant sound and to clarify that vibratory quality of the breath through each of those centers. Taking just one or two more full rounds to prepare for the inhale veloma. And exhaling completely, emptying the body of the breath. Keep the heart lifted, drop the chin down gently. Inhale a quarter of the way, pause. Inhale another quarter, pause. Inhale another quarter, pause. And inhale, fill yourself with breath, pause. Hold tone in the pelvic floor, feel the heart lift and spread, feel that radiant quality of the prana pattern emanating from the center of the chest. Make as if to inhale again, and then softly release the breath all the way back out. (laughs) 
Again, inhale a quarter breath. Pause. Inhale another quarter. Pause. Inhale another quarter. Pause. Inhale all the way up. Pause, hold tone in the pelvic floor. Feel the lifting, spreading quality of the heart as that hood of the cobra reaches from the back of the diaphragm and spreads up and over the crown of the head. Keep it suspended as you make as if to inhale again and then release the breath softly all the way back out, letting the image dissolve. Inhale a quarter breath, pause. Inhale another quarter, pause. Inhale another quarter, pause. Inhale, fill yourself with breath, pause. Feel the lifting radiance of the prana pattern. Keep the soft palate released, and then exhale all the way back out. Take a few rounds of deep, full ujjayi breath, tracing the thread of attention from the soft palate all the way down to the root, touching every point in between. Fill yourself completely with breath, preparing for the exhale, Viloma. Keep the lower back spreading as you lift the heart, and then exhale a quarter of the way. Pause. Exhale another quarter. Pause. Exhale another quarter. Pause. Exhale all the way to empty. Straighten the arms, drop the chin, pull the whole belly in. Feel the undersurface of the diaphragm lifting and spreading. Then relax the belly and inhale all the way up. And then exhale a quarter of the breath. Pause. Exhale another quarter. Pause. Exhale another quarter. Pause, exhale all the way out. Pause, pull the belly in. Feel the pressure on the solar plexus as you lift and spread the back of the diaphragm. Then relax the belly down and inhale, fill yourself with breath. Once more like that, exhale a quarter of the way, pause. Exhale another quarter, pause. Exhale another quarter, pause. Exhale all the way to empty, pause. Suck the whole belly in. Relax the belly down and then inhale all the way up. Deep Ujjayi breath. Just one or two more rounds. Exhale the next breath all the way out, combined Viloma, starting empty. Inhale a quarter breath, pause. Inhale another quarter, pause. Inhale another quarter, pause. 
Inhale, fill yourself with breath. Pause, hold tone in the pelvic floor, hold the awareness in the heart, feel it lift and spread. And then exhale a quarter breath, pause gently. Exhale a quarter breath, pause. Exhale another quarter, pause. Exhale all the way out. Empty of breath, pull the belly in. Hold the attention in the heart. Feel the echo of that lifting, spreading prana pattern. And let it release and inhale a quarter breath. Pause, inhale another quarter, pause, inhale another quarter, pause, inhale, fill yourself with breath, pause. Exhale a quarter, pause, exhale another quarter, pause, exhale a quarter, pause, empty yourself out. Pause, pull the belly in. Attention in the heart, feel it lift and spread. Keep the soft palate released, then release the belly. One more round, inhale a quarter away. Pause, inhale another quarter. Pause, inhale another quarter. Pause, inhale all the way up. Pause and feel the radiance lifting and spreading from the plane of the heart. Make as if to inhale again, then exhale gently a quarter of the way. Pause. Exhale another quarter. Pause. Exhale another quarter. Pause. Exhale to empty. Pull the belly in. Hold the attention in the heart. Appreciate the emptiness. Then release the belly and inhale deeply. And exhale all the way out. Inhale again. And exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. Once more as you prepare for Nadi Shodhana, so find your Vishnu Mudra. The very tip of the right thumb underneath the septum on the right side. The very tips of the smallest two fingers underneath the septum on the left side. The other two fingers curling in. Keep a little space in both armpits. Keep the Heart lifted, let the chin drop any amount. Draw the breath in through both nostrils, both half closed. And close the right side, exhale left. Close the left side, half open the right. Inhale through a half opened right side. Close both. Exhale through a half opened left side. Close both. Pause. Inhale through a half opened left side. Close both. Exhale through a half opened right side. Close both. Continuing the same pattern, inhale on the right. Close and pause. Exhale left. Close and pause. Inhale left. Close and pause. Exhale right. Close and pause. 
exhale, inhale, right? Close and pause. Exhale, left. Close and pause. Inhale, left. Close and pause. Exhale, right. Close and pause. Inhale, right. Close and pause. Exhale, left. Close and pause. Inhale, left. Close and pause. Exhale, right. Close and pause. One more round. Inhale, right. Close and pause. Exhale, left. Close, pause. Inhale, left. Close and pause. Exhale, right. Close and pause. Now inhale, right. And exhale, left. Inhale both. And exhale, release. And you can lift the chin. Spread the occipital base of the skull. Take the shoulders back just a little more. So you feel a clear connection between the soft palate and the pelvic floor, breathing up and down that center line with deep rhythmic ujjayi breath, touching every point along the path through the space of the throat, through the heart, across the threshold of the diaphragm, through the solar plexus, behind the watery chamber of the belly, into the pelvic basin, touching the pelvic floor, and then exhaling all the way back and up along that same path. Moving through each of those zones gently. With humility and adoration. With wonder. With vibrant, open attention. Allowing any of those centers to light up with the breath. And just giving space. For sensation to radiate. From wherever it wants.
And with that white long thread of breath continuing to drop in the background from the soft palate all the way to the pelvic floor on the inhale and from the pelvic floor up along the same path as you exhale all the way to the soft palate. We'll bring into the foreground the line from the Dwadashanta, 12 finger widths above the crown of the head. Dropping straight down as we inhale through the fountain now through the cranial vault, piercing the soft palate, coming down the throat tracing the line of Amrita Nadi from the disk of the moon all the way down into the heart, filling the heart with breath on the inhale and then continuing back up along the same path on the exhale through the throat, piercing the soft palate through the cranial vault and dissipating above the thousand petaled lotus above the crown of the head. Keep the breath full and deep. Keep a tone in the vocal cords so that the breath has a resonant quality. And as you draw the inhale downward, through the cranial vault toward the heart. Listen for the sound cream. Let the space of the heart fill with that watery, soft, benefic mantra. The heart is being bathed with that sound. With white radiant light. And on the exhale, you can listen for the heart calling back. The goddess calling back to Shiva from the heart with his mantra, Om. She reaches up into the cranial vault and resonates into that vast open space, which you experience as a continuous space from the center of the head outward through the room beyond the walls of the shala into the jungle. Feeling the sounds of the birds passing easily, continually, fluidly through that space. Calling Hreem down into the heart and Om from the heart back up to the center of the cranial vault. Feeling the energy of head and heart melting into one another. So that those darker, more watery impulses that we drew up from the pelvic floor are being filtered through the white light of the heart before they percolate up. to the surface of consciousness. And let the lips part just a little bit, continuing that deep, full, rhythmic breath with sound. And now we'll start to pull the breath right across the bottom of the soft palate. So you feel the breath sliding across the roof of the mouth. Let the tongue curl up to just behind the base of the front teeth. And as you inhale, 
You have a watery quality of the inhales. You pull the sound stream right across the roof of the mouth. Letting the lips close again as you exhale. Inhale, let them part. Pull the sound of stream. Exhale back out. And one more time. You can keep the lips softly parted and the tongue very gently curled up to the base of the teeth and start to let the breath naturally soften. And you feel that ocean of nectar floating just above the soft palate. It's a deep, vast, bottomless ocean of white. As if the body were floating, being fully bathed in the nectar of compassion. And the eyes are peeping up just above the surface of the ocean, admiring that glistening silvery light that's being reflected down from somewhere above. And the attention is naturally drawn up to see the source of that light, which is a reflected light coming from the orb of the moon just above and at the center of the eyes. The attention is drawn up toward that lunar disk. you feel the whole current of sensation from the pelvic floor. Naturally drawn up in rapt attention. Toward that bright lunar light. fills your consciousness. You bathe in it. The body becomes an open expanse of white light. And you allow yourself to be suspended there in loving adoration.
the hands together at the center of the heart. Om Shanti Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Draw the breath in. We'll finish with a single Om. Om.